Okay, here's what I'll do. I won't tell you a story, but I will perform for you live and in person. Uh, to the best of my memory, which since I'm a voiceover actor, I don't memorize anything, so like my memory is like... Oh, story, right, I was gonna, I was gonna do the premiere episode of Optimus for you. Optimus, of course, is a uh, character that's uh, created by myself. It has nothing to do with the fact that at one point in time I played Optimus Prime. It's a total coincidence. Anyway, Optimus, as you well know, um, is half moose, half truck. I'm sure you all remember his rise to prominence. He was featured in the late 50s on the, uh, on the Billy Beaver show on Saturday mornings. Come on, y'all love Billy Beaver, right? And then, as you all know, Optimus got to be so popular that they changed the name of the show. They ended up calling it Beaver and Friends, and then Beaver and Moose, and finally Moose and Beaver, and then the Optimus show. So, as a result, our good friend Billy Beaver has been come to known in, in Hollywood circles as Bitter. Bitter Beaver. So, Bitter and Optimus are in their favorite bar, Senior Cervezas. There we go, that's a high quality name. And of course, they're sitting there, and uh, actually, Optimus is standing, Bitter is standing on the bar and their favorite bartender's cleaning glasses. And Bitter's sitting there and he's finishing up a joke. So he says to the guy, that's not a waffle, that's my wife! <laughs> and the bartender's sitting there. And uh, Optimus says, ooh, that's a very nice story. Nice story? Nice story? What, like you got a better one? Uh, sure, a moose and a beaver walk into a bar. <laughs> and? Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's very nice. It is a setting which is familiar to me. Characters which I like. It's got a good story. Good story! Nothing happens! Oh, you see, I saw this as cliffhanger. <laughs> Yeah, all the good stuff's in the sequel. And in the back of the room, you see a couple of writers taking notes. We find out in episode two, it was Kurtzman and Orsi. That's right, Alex Kurtzman, Roberto Ur Orsi, guys that um, adapted, let's see, they, they did Transformers, so they adapted a toy, right? They uh, did Star Trek, so they adapted a TV show, right? So logically thinking, the next thing that they're going to adapt is a joke. So there you go. You'll have to tune in when we finally get it on the internet and see the entire series of Optimus. That's what we call the commercial before the show, I do believe. John, is this the show now? Uh oh. Dueling microphones. MC, these are your instructions. Yes. You need to have your judges introduce themselves and their credentials. Okay. Audience, this is an informal costume competition. We don't have really strict rules, we just have categories and fun prizes. Hello, <laughs> Con. Sorry, I've been springing since 3 in the morning. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that was you, huh? It was. Thanks, man. Hi. This gentleman is Ethan. He's not a judge, so he may not be introduced. Please be <laughs> but he is the score runner, which means whoever wins the cash and prizes, and there is cash and there are prizes, Ethan will be the one who will be delivering the good news to me so that we can send it back out. Tonight, you can see them off stage right. We have a beautiful large gold cup and a beautiful small silver cup. Those are our marble bases. They are very heavy. I could not carry both at once. They are not to be used as spittoons. <laughs> now he tells That's me. fine. That's totally fine. Just not a spittoon, young lady. I see you chawing over there. Inside the gold cup is two crisp $100 bills. <laughs> That we will let the winner look at for at least a minute and a half. 
there was supposed to be 200 crisp $100 bills, but somebody overslipped them to go to the bank. Wait, 200 crisp $100 bills? No, 200 crisp $1 bills. This is all I like fun. mine better. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like Oprah. You get a $100 bill. You get a $100 bill. You get a $100 bill. Yeah, exactly. That's for later. In the silver cup, there's, of course, a crisp $100 bill, so, you know, it's not a good deal. Um, <laughs> oh, there's more than that running for the bus. For the winner with the gold cup, which would be the grand champion, we also have a prize sponsor.